<clears throat> Hi there. Garden grill. It's only a five minute wait. We got fast passes for a five minute wait. It's okay. There is. It's not even a five minute wait. We're gonna walk straight on this red. Living with the land. No wait. Where you going? Oh yeah, we do have fast. I don't know why. Okay. The fast pass line is longer to get to than the standby line. The standby line goes from there to there. Fast pass line, we have to walk all the way around. The line for the fast pass is longer than the standby line. They just gotta go from there to get on the boat. We gotta go all the way around. Don't worry, I am not complaining. We will use our fast passes here and then get on something else. Hi, how many? Four. If you get up here, notice the, if we can see, notice the number on the house sign. The often surprising nature of living with the land. Our journey begins as dramatic and sudden changes are sweeping over the land. The approaching storm may seem violent and destructive to us, but to nature, it's a new beginning in the that cycle of life. systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its land and animals. Rainforests are also extremely rich in productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicines, and other elements essential to our lives.
In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful, living system. And while this arid landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Forces at work on the land. A reference to when Epcot was open. Found effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. here in the Guinness Book of World Records. It yielded 32,000 tomatoes in one year. Welcome to our living laboratory where scientists Cute. from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture Monstera are exploring fruit. innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important a source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Pumpkin. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. Dragon fruit. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants vanilla. may be as important as the bananas growing there. on both sides that, of the boat. Yeah. That's vanilla? Sure is. More than 28 vanilla million wine, tons of bananas are eaten annually. Vanilla, it's vanilla bean. It the most popular fruit in the world. <laughs> Miracle fruit. Banana. 
cow. That's chocolate. What is that humongous <laughs> All right. Now the fishies. Yep. Fishy, fishy, fishy. When we mention farming, you probably don't think of fish. But fish farming or aquaculture accounts for nearly yeah. half Tilapia of over here. Tilapia, bass, yep. and Spurge it over the there. Here are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system Hybrid back. here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save channels catfish each year. On both sides. Our small fish farm produces nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce valuable harvests and still protect the natural resources. We have shrimp, shrimp and tilapia. Oh, there's a mini, <laughs> Mickey head. Down there. Yep, one on that side too. Good okay. I didn't even see that. <laughs> well, how? While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. Buddha's hand. The common grains growing here wheat, maize, hot, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two thirds of our global food Cotton. consumption. Learning how to increase yield Cherry to be stage. stable is an important goal of some research lemon, around some the other world. Stuff. Spinach, yuck. Basil, sorghum, wheat, monkey puzzle tree. <laughs> these another plants corn. are definitely on their way up. Passion fruit. Innovative it's a great one. Like these increase yields some tomatoes. while more efficiently using resources like water, Sugar fertilizer, cane. and pesticides. Another innovation at work here Winter is our melons. integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles lettuce. water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of nutrient lettuce film in technique. this one small area. It's hard to see. There are some hidden Mickeys there. Transplanting in progress. Cucumbers. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature, like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses in restaurants here at the land every year. Cauliflower. Look at those crackers. How big they are. Snapdragon. Vertical farming. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. Seeds tour. I think that concludes our journey through the land. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. 
Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratory. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the Behind the Scenes walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratory. Please keep your hands and feet inside the boat and remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop.